Don't, hey, don't cancel me. Hey, it's Tag Tommy. Oh, I love Tommy, man. I love Tommy. Shout out to Tommy. Hell no, nah, man. Don't waste no shout out. Okay, shout out back. <laughs> All right, then. You pulled it out the phone. Listen. What's up, YouTube? Ti yeah, Beverly. Today we're going to actually be a person. Women are overrated. Women are so overrated, right? We, we went from wait, wait, what? We wait, went, wait, wait, what? We wait, went, wait, we went. This is when he was on Conan. Yeah, Bill Burr has a lot of stuff to say about women. <laughs> yeah, it almost seems like he hates them. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure he doesn't, but, you know, it's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I love women. Hey. Yo, don't forget that there be nothing putting out there now. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing yet. Chris ain't showed up at your house. Y'all tripping. I told the center you you USPS, so it should be like seven, what, seven, ten days. All right, all right. Yeah, it's been a month, but I check your mailbox. Put the mark away. Let's check the mark. Your show, F is for Family, I relate to it because it's about parenting in the 70s. And that's, you know, that was when I was parented like you. What do you think of parents now? How do you compare them to parents in the 70s? Oh, it's just completely, the kids have so much power. It's like ridiculous. Like half of these kids, I'm like, I look and I just have what happened to me. And I'm like looking at a kid and be like, this kid's about ready to get punted across the grocery store. And it just never happens. Right? They, just, they just don't get hit. And I think it's hurting your mastery. You're a Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> See, they hurt the question. Yeah. Yeah. You're mad that children are, are not being uh, this, hit. This should be the threat of it. Half of it, it was just the look. It was just your dad was acting like he was going to do it. He never did it, but your right. mother did. And because, <laughs> because she was, no, because she was a woman, it was like, okay. Because yeah. it was like, hey, you, know, you let a girl beat you up, you know, you kind of felt emasculated. Yeah. <laughs> We had a rule, like, I actually, a lot of the stuff that I look at from when I was a kid that actually kind of made sense in a way is now, would now be considered like abuse, I guess. Like when I was a kid, if you didn't finish your supper, as we called it. Supper, yeah. Yeah, yeah. my yeah. mother was just like, well, you're gonna finish, you're gonna, um, she would just wrap it in cellophane and you just picked up where you left off for breakfast. Like, like a blue collar <laughs> job. Like, you take the shovel out of the hole and just start digging it again. <laughs> so, yeah, I remember one night we had cube steaks which is like one of the toughest pieces of meat. I don't know mm. if you guys, everything's so like Asian-infused, Wagyu beef, everybody's eating that crap right. now. But cube steak was like, they had literally had to hit it with a hammer to make it like edible. <laughs> and uh, so we were having cube steaks. And I forget, my little brother was still in a high chair and he couldn't finish his. So my mother goes, all right, we're well, just gonna have to eat it for breakfast. And that was like eight hours away, which was like half his life. So we said, all right, I'll take that meal. So the next morning, we were, I remember we were having waffles. My mother always made Sunday breakfast. So we had all these waffles, eggs, bacon, this whole layout. My brother was looking at half-eaten cube steaks Damn. and a little mound of green bean casserole. And he goes, so he looked at my mom. He goes, mom, can I have a waffle? And she goes, no, you got to finish your supper. He's like, well, after I finish my waffle, uh, supper, then can I have a waffle? She goes, no, that is your breakfast. And he goes, oh, mom, I hate you. And my dad, without looking up, took a full glass of milk and threw it in his face. <laughs> this is what kills me. What kills you me. You want everyone today to have as miserable a childhood as no. you have. <laughs> no, but it was kind of funny. Yeah. So we know what's hilarious was my mother just popped up and just immediately started cleaning up and my dad just kept eating. Like he didn't like, <laughs> you know, like the roles were defined back then. Now the guy has to throw the milk, he has to clean it up while telling his wife she's brave for just sitting there. <laughs> Whatever that is. Can you hear it? Oh, oh, oh you know. <laughs> Women are so overrated, right? We, we went from wait, wait, what? We wait, went, wait, wait, what? We what? went, wait, we went, what? we went from not listening to them to now it's just, it's just, it, you know, it's just, it's, it's ridiculous. Like that believe women, it's like all of them. <laughs> how about 85 percent? I'll give you 87 percent, all right? But that last 13 percent that keys your car, lights your shit on fire, and puts a family pet in a, in a pot of stew? <laughs> Who put a pet in a 
bought a stew. Glenn Close. Oh, that's close. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. Okay. All right. I, I think it was a separately. Say, you know what? I'm, I miss. I miss. Yeah. Tougher parenting and evidence. Those are the things that I miss from my childhood. <laughs> evidence. Evidence. Yeah. Right. You mean due people... process. Right. Somebody says something happened, and then someone else goes, well, I said it happened this way, like the old gumshoe shows, and they had to figure it out. Right. Yeah, that doesn't exist now on, on social media. It's just, right. like, it's just frontier justice. Right. You feel how nervous everybody just got in here at the fact that I just suggested that there should be due process? <laughs> this guy's talking crazy, man. Did he just join <laughs> ISIS? <laughs> And then the woos that they agreed, but they were they didn't agree when it counted. We can add we'll digitally add woos, don't worry. Uh, we have the woo machine. Uh, you are way too angry. Fifty is still relatively young. You are the you have the anger of, of a one hundred and ten year old. Man. <laughs> All these telephones! In the I, game game. I, I can't argue. Damn. <laughs> oh, man. Bill tells how it is, man. man. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. He comes from him, a different generation. Yeah. His anger makes him funny. It makes it funny, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some truth from, in it, though. It's some it truth is. It's, it's but, some you know, truth in it. Yes, you know. Just sometimes the way you say it, you people know, ain't going him, with you, bro. You know, he'll be look like an old angry man. Oh, man. Yeah. Just yeah, wait, till, wait till he gets hey, old. I'm just saying, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Old angry white people. They, they Y'all ain't in. Y'all ain't in no more, man. I'm sorry, man. Hey, y'all ain't. Tommy. It's just, y'all can tell. Ain't in. I'm sorry. Don't, hey, don't counsel me. Hey, it's Tommy. Tommy. Oh, I love Tommy, man. I love Tommy. Shout out to Tommy. Hell no, nah, man. Don't waste no shout out. Okay, shout out back. <laughs> All right, then. Pulled it out the phone. All right. Anyway, then. let us know what you guys think about Bill Burr or Coden in the comments below. And if this is your first time visiting the channel, go ahead and like and subscribe to it. Share oh, us and yeah. Make sure you hit the notification button so when new videos drop, you'll be one of the first to know. Shut up. I eat pears now and shit like that. Shout out to all the pear. Shout out. <laughs> Phone. Man, it's plenty of people to shout out, man. It's plenty out there, man. We got we got plenty of love, Jay Sizzle. I know, hey y'all, y'all stay tuned. JC is gonna be, you know, replying to some comments. Y'all just hold tight. He's gonna be replying back. Wait a minute. Right, JC? What's going on here? Alright, here we go. So I thought you found one. You got camera. I do not. Oh, my bad. Be nice if y'all would. Oh, I'm looking. Anybody looking at me? Yeah, I'm looking right now. No, you ain't your lines, bastards. Uh, that one. You one. All right. There you go, JC. You're peeping too. There you go, JC. What uh, we got? This one is from our Dave Chappelle son meets Kevin Hart reaction. And. It's a great video. It's from Vern Renor. Okay. It happens. You gonna you gonna get the phone to me like I'm. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> you take ownership for your side. Yeah, yeah, that's yours. Yeah, that's yours. Yeah, that's yours. Delic. I don't mess up your name. Sound so right far. to me. But he says. Like I was gonna say it. Though. He or she says. I don't know. I love the commentary after the reaction. It gives off the hanging out vibe. I love hanging out with you guys. Keep up the excellent entertainment. Hey, man, that was a good one. I like thank that. you. Good thank job, you. JC. Who was that again? Renner. Yeah. Yeah. Vernor. Oh, what up, VD? Like yeah. Yeah. VD? Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah. okay. Thank you, Vernor, for that shout out. <laughs> I mean, that's for the compliment. That is your shout out, Vernor. I like that one. Yeah, that that's nice. nice. Thanks. Thanks for your support and watching. Yeah. Until next time, people. Peace.